there, Cancer. This is Sophie with Lady of the Unknown Oracle. How are you doing? Happy New Year. <laughs> we made it. So this is going to be your reading for January 2019. This is not, uh, there's no preset expectation for what this reading will hold for you. This could be love, this could be career, this could be finance, school, friendships, whatever, whatever this reading um, involves is specifically geared towards the thing, the theme, the person, the issue, the obstacle, the block, whatever it is that um, has to be addressed in order for you to be on a fast track to attracting and manifesting what it is you want and remaining on the path of your greatest and highest good. Okay, so it could be any any topic, any topic, all right? There is no preset limit. This is a, an open reading for spirit to communicate to you, Cancer, what it is you should be focusing on for January 2019 or for whenever it is you happen upon this reading. This message here is for you. Think about, meditate, visualize the message, the issue at hand. Let's let's see. We're going to use the Spirit Messages Oracle by John Holland in order to get a message from Spirit. Then we will clarify and investigate a little bit more using the Radiant Rider. Wait for your message. Let's see, Cancer, Cancer, twenty January, twenty nineteen. What message do we have here for cancer? What should be their greatest focus? What what should be their greatest focus in January? What will they most likely be challenged with in January that they should be addressing in order to stay in alignment with their greatest and highest good? Keep your vibrations way up. High, 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 cancer, okay? It feels to me like there's a new beginning for you on the horizon. I feel like you just made some very tough decisions. January 2019 could be, could require you to see those decisions through. Caregiver, we are with you and spirit has its own way of recognizing the care and love you provide to others, especially at the end of their lives, just as you received care and love at the start of your life. Caregivers often focus all their attention on their loved ones and often neglect their own concerns and well-being in the process. So, Cancer, you might be in um, you might be in a healthcare profession. Perhaps you're an ICU nurse, uh, an ER nurse. Uh, you could be a physician, Cancer. Whatever it is, you provide a lot of very sensitive care, perhaps in a hospice. If that is the case for you, then this reading is going to be very, very relevant to you. If not, what this card is saying is you take care of people all the time. And it's time now that you spend more time thinking about the things that you want and take care of yourself. It's very easy for those with really big hearts, the empaths, the people with, you know, they give compassion and patience and tolerance and understanding to everyone but themselves, and they can be the hardest on themselves. So make sure in January, make sure in January, Cancer, you are focusing more on giving back to yourself and on taking care of yourself in the same way that you do for others. You care so much about other people. It's time now that you proportionally give that back to yourself not just a little bit take care of yourself but you take care of yourself as much as you would if you were one of the people that you take care of right pull out all the stops the same way you would for a stranger pull out all of the stops for yourself splurge on the things you want because you are worthy and you deserve it that is going to be your focus in january 2019 cancer Let's pull a message here, please, Spirit. Message for Cancer, January 2019, please. Thank you. Thank you so much for the clear message that we are receiving. We are forever grateful and content that this clarity has been provided to us. Cancer, January 2019. The central focus for you in January, 
Cancer is going to be realization and clarity of thought. There's something that you've realized something extremely important. You've let go of a toxic relationship, a commitment, a union, a bond. You've taken care of this person, your whole relationship. You've neglected yourself. And in some ways, you're grieving that this relationship between you and this other person is no longer what it used to be, Cancer. But it's time to move on in January because you've realized that there was something in this relationship that was lacking. There was something here that was too restricting. There was something here that had you feeling trapped. If you were with a, an earth sign, they are the person that you were with. And it could be that they are feeling very sad about this union, but they understand it was unhealthy. But especially you, you in particular, have cut out this particular person who made you feel extremely sad about what you used to have. They filled you with this sense of yearning. You wish it was the way it used to be. But you realize that there was something extremely unhealthy, some type of codependence or some type of drive to drink and smoke or some type of cyclic cyclic behavior <clears throat> that never seemed to end arguments conflict misunderstandings disagreements something that made you feel like there was no progress forward in this relationship in january you realize that this relationship needs to be cut out you have come to this spiritual enlightenment perhaps you're receiving signs you're getting dreams your synchronicities have been really calling out to you but there's a spirituality involved in the hierophant and especially with the ace of swords we have that there's there's this revelation that comes to you there's something about this person that you who is in your environment that you realize is toxic and you're cutting them out you have taken care of them long enough it's your turn now to make sure that you care for yourself if this is a job that was really paying you very well. The Hierophant can also just be a company, a corporation. Perhaps you felt like the Queen of Pentacles in this particular job. It was extremely dissatisfying. And while it was what you thought you wanted, you realized that it wasn't fulfilling. And so in January, you're going to come to grips with how it is you want to proceed now that you realize you're unhappy in the job that you in the career or the job that you have. You're gonna be cutting out of your chains. You're gonna be looking past the, the entrapment, the restriction, and you're going to realize that while you might be outside of the Queen of Pentacles energy, you could very quickly be in the King, King of Pentacles or the Ten of Pentacles. You could be in the Empress energy, the Emperor energy. Perhaps you could have your own business at some point. Dream, dream big, Cancer. Go back to school. Pick a, a job, a career that, that really resonates with you. Pick a job that you find more fulfilling. You know what that job is. You know what that, 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 that study is. You know what it is will make you, will bring you the most happiness. But there's something in January 2019, Cancer, that you are going to come to a realization about. Something that made you feel trapped. Something that made you feel really empty. And you're going to have the information you need you're going to find you're going to be equipped with the with the thoughts and the realization that you need in order to inspire that passion inspire that movement forward and for once you're going to stop considering what this means for others and you're going to take care of yourself because the bigger picture involves you everyone else is just a player in your life but you are what it's all about and that's not to say that by caring less, you don't care at all. But you are number one and you are useless to others if you cannot take care of yourself. If you are not in the right place to overflow and pour into other people's cups. If you're on empty. So go within, Cancer. Take the downloads that you receive in January seriously. And really consider the things that make you happy. And consider what this new realization means for you in your future. Go back to school consider what other jobs you would rather be in besides the one that you are in if it's a relationship 
realize what this could mean for you guys and create a plan that is fueled by the love for who you will be after this situation is over and not by the fear of the pain it might cause others for the moment. There is more at stake here than the things in your environment right now. There is so much more waiting for you that you will be essentially rejecting if you don't give it the thought that it deserves. Consider it. Realize what opportunities you have for change and use the inspired passion, the, inspi the inspiration, the clarity of thought that you receive in January 2019 to really drive things forward because it's a brand new start, it's a fresh start, and you deserve the best because you've cared, you've cared so much about everyone in your environment and now it's time for you to show yourself love. All right, Cancer. This is your message for January 2019. I hope to see you guys soon. I love you. Take care. Be safe this New Year's. And I'll see you next time, okay? I love you so much. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, babies.